James, a monumental occasion. So many, it was 53,000 tickets sold, right? 47,000 attendants. What an atmosphere. What did you make of the game, first of all, before we talk about the actual game itself? I mean, oh, total control. Absolute total control um, from back to front. In possession, they were so calm for Susan Williamson. Just when your centre backs command those kind of early parts of the game, they get on the ball, they're comfortable. Lee judges were saying something during the game. You're normally taught not to play a cross goal. Yeah. We see that at all levels of football now. They're trying to encourage that. But Williamson and Souza, they just transmit this total confidence on the ball. Uh, and then everything played off. Well, Kim Little was amazing in midfield as well. Uh, and the front three did their jobs as well. So yeah. just from a, I mean, 4 0, and it could have been more. But, but, you know, not to be too disrespectful, I mean, the, the, the clean sheet was utterly deserved. Tottenham didn't do anything and um, Arsenal pick up the three points. Of course, now you mentioned a few players there that had mm. tremendous performances. It's hard to pick a player in the match, but of course, Caitlin Ford was awarded. So what? who stood out for you? I know it's hard to pick. Yeah, I, mean, I mentioned Kim Little. I thought, I thought, I mean, Beth Mead's goal is brilliant. And there are a few times where we got down the wings, McKay with a few runs. Um, but I, I'll give it to, I'll give it to Little. Um, I really like Sue's performance. I wouldn't say she was necessarily man of the match, but at half time I was saying there's this sort of, um, I don't know, it's, it's, she commands, doesn't she? When she got a goal, I was delighted for her. But then you can't look past Vivian Miedema, who's got yeah. two goals as well. And I mean, I don't, I, you know, I, I'll say now, I don't watch the Arsenal women's team week in, week out, but you're always hearing about Vivian Miedema. I was just going to say, yeah. I want to touch on that quickly because obviously mm. over the past few seasons, for, for people that may not have watched the women's game regularly, they yeah. always hear Vivian Miedema. But she's been quite quiet this season in terms of being the prolific goal scorer, but she still does her job in a different position, right? Yeah. So for her to get two goals today in North London Derby, for me, is incredible because for me, she's been quiet from yeah. what we're used to seeing her do. But what did you make of her it, that you're expecting her to do something and then she gets the two goals? But that's it. And, and I mean, again, it's hard to compare with previous performances that you know other people who watch more regularly will be able to. I, I actually thought she was, I wouldn't say quiet, but... Yeah. But then she gets the two goals the and it's a brilliant there. finish. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes when you've got a goal scorer that prolific, it's like, OK, cool. You know, I'm not as involved. Look, she was involved. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, the point is when the chances came, she buried them. What I loved about the first goal, she actually has a little look up. I think it's to Ford on her left who originally wins the ball. She has a little look up to see if the square is on. She's always thinking, what is, what is the best chance to get this ball in the back of the net? Saw that, you know, maybe there was someone covering and then just slots it away. Really, really comfortable. So, yeah, I mean, she was brilliant. You can't look past her two goals. But I thought, again, at the back and Kim Little just running things. Um, but I could just across the board, they, they were brilliant. And, and, and to be that dominant for 90 minutes in a North London derby, everyone has to do their job. Uh, and I thought they were all brilliant today. I have to mention it before we finish because I got a text during the game. Yeah. I think around the 70th minute from a Tottenham fan that we both know. And he messaged me saying, um, your women's team are great. They're like light years ahead of our team, but it's a shame your men aren't. Good luck next week. I have to touch on it, of course. This is the precursor of this. No, this is the main event. But then we've got it again for the men's. Can the men give us this type of result against Tottenham? I mean, we have to, I have to yeah, I mean, I mean, they're capable of it. I think there's um, I think there's comparisons in the way both teams play. I think there's a philosophy and identity that transmit through the Arsenal men's team, the Arsenal women's team, which is about possession, which is about control. We see Arteta said before that you know he, he liaises with the coaching staff on the women's team as well to discuss tactics and what they do and, and they learn from each other, which is brilliant. So yeah, I've got no doubt they could put on that kind of performance. I think what's so special about today though, every North London derby special for that fifty three thousand that has you know smashed the Women's Super League record here at the Emirates Stadium. I mean, every fan should be so proud of that, as should the club and all the players, because, you know, they're coming here to watch brilliant football and brilliant players, and, and those players have absolutely earned the right to be playing this massive crowd and this massive stadium. So I thought just to be a part of that occasion was really, really special. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but I must say we are top of the league. We top are, of both of us, both teams. <laughs> Thank you, James. No worries. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.